So I was on the lookout for the perfect family home piano, something that everyone in the family can use, kind of fits your family lifestyle. And there was a few boxes that it needed to tick. It needs to be volume adjustable. I didn't want to fiddle around with tuning the piano. I wanted it to look like a real piano and I wanted it to sound like a real piano. And this one here ticks all the boxes. And in this video, I'm going to explain why I think this is the perfect family home piano for you and some of the things you should be looking out for and some of the things you might want to know when looking for a perfect family home piano where your kids can grow up with music, you want to play music in the end of the day when kids are asleep, everything is possible with this one and it features some of the other very interesting tech features that I haven't seen in any of the other pianos that I've tried. Okay, let's talk. So there's five kind of areas that I want to dig a little bit deeper about this piano. Number one, when I was looking for a piano, I went to a few stores that, you know, have pianos laid out there and I tried lots of different pianos and a lot of them looked like electric pianos and just like they didn't look like a nice piece of furniture because pianos have always been like the grand pianos and really nice upright pianos have always been like part of the furniture as well. It must look nice. Like this one here is polished ebony. Look here, by the way, you can get this piano with different colors if you want to get that one. But I went with polished ebony just because it looks more like the professional pianos out there, like a really nice upright piano. And when looking around in the store there, I very quickly realized that there isn't that many options out there. And a lot of them cost a lot of money if you really want to get to like a really nice and beautiful looking piano. They cost like, upwards of three grand. But then I came across this Roland LX series of pianos. There is three pianos in this category and we're gonna talk about later on which one is the best one, but this one is the middle one, the LX706. There's 705 and 708 as well, which are slightly smaller and sm slightly bigger. But when I looked at that piano, at first I thought this is an acoustic piano because it kind of looks like an acoustic piano. And the actual lid was set up like that and I thought, hmm, um, I can't even see the buttons. Actually, from this angle, I can see you've already see the screen over there. But if you look down on the piano like this, from this type of angle, then you can see that actually it does look like a nice acoustic piano. And when you try to play this, you thought, wait a second. This does sound like a real piano. And that's when I was pretty much sold on this piano. And then when I started looking further on this piano, there's so many nice little features that just make this piano the perfect piano for you. So let me talk about some of the features that are very interesting. So now you know that it kind of looks like an acoustic piano, right? It's got a very nice design, but it's also like a little bit minimal and like a bit more modern design because there's like this design that goes around this type of, um, it's actually a speaker there. Apart from looking very nice, there's a few things. First of all, the lid opens to like two positions. One of them is kind of like, you know, three quarters of the way, which by the way, also automatically turns the piano on. Once um, you've opened the lid, there's an auto turn on feature, so the piano is already on. And then when you want to lift the lid further back to actually reveal the buttons, you've got access to a lot of different sounds and all the, you know, settings and everything on the piano, which you can fiddle around. So in here you can see USB port if you want to connect this to your uh, computer and actually record MIDI or something like that out of this. This is memory stick USB there. Input, so you can actually add an extra um, instrument here if you want somehow or from a mixer or some other input from a recorder or whatever you want inside here and then it will s actually play this from the piano speakers because all of this down down here is a piano speaker and all of this like around this is piano speaker there as well. They've positioned the speakers very very cleverly to actually mimic an upright piano sound which it sounds very much like it. Then there's output obviously stereo output two 6.3 millimeter jacks then you've got headphone parts two of them actually one of them 3.5 millimeter and then one of them 6.3 large jack over there and then also there's a little headphone holder there if you want to you know carry your headphones over there you can do that there as well also this bit here is actually the piano stand obviously it's a little bit dusty now because i've been using it for a while but you can just lift it up and then there's a little hinge in the back there if you flip it out there 
it will stand out like that and then now you can put all your music there you've got these protectors here as well if you want to put your sheet music or a tablet or something here to actually learn from some sheet music or actually an app as well because this piano comes with an app as well and uh, you can explore that more on the website i'm not going to talk too much further in that one because I think there's other features that are uh, cooler about that. So let's have a look at some of the sounds here now on the piano because one of the coolest things about this piano, how nice it does sound. So first of all, let's talk about the piano section over here. You've got piano, e-piano, strings, and then other. Other is basically just a buttload of different sound effects, organs, pipes, all sorts of instruments. So if you wanna make some funny sound effects or whatever, you can try around here, all sorts of things from uh, people's voices to all the way to like F1 car sounds that's over there. But I think the main things are here on the piano, e-piano and strings. First of all, the piano does sound very, very nice and deep. Very nice and deep and rich. Rich sound. As you can hear, it very much sounds like a real piano. And there's lots of very interesting kind of sounds and things that they've added to the normal like MIDI sound uh, to make it sound like a real rich piano. For example, one of the things I did found is you can actually add the pedal sound to the mix as well. So let me just pan it down so you can see when I'm hitting this, uh, this pedal there. Can you hear this? You can hear the in an acoustic piano, the actual, all of the mutes lifting. So you've got the pedal sound, first of all. Then when you slowly push down some of the keys, for example, on the top there, right? So now basically the mutes have lifted on top of these in an acoustic piano. And if you play something further along on the piano, can you hear the resonance of those keys there? That's absolutely amazing there, first of all. There's lots of these little things that they've added to the sound to make it sound nice as well. You can hear the hammer as you're playing the piano as well. And there's actual hammer action here as well. I'm not sure exactly how they've designed it in there, but it does feel like hard, like a real piano kind of sound. And if you don't like exactly how the piano sounds, then you can uh, configure it inside there because there is something called piano designer so if i go over here and click on this piano designer button here it brings up lots of settings over there basically this is my stage here now you can configure like all sorts of things here you can um, configure like the echo and reverb of the sound you can choose how much reverb there is the key touch how light and heavy it is completely tune it to your liking how brilliant this is, mellow or bright, master tuning. That's the interesting thing though, the master tuning was actually off for me uh, from the beginning. From the factory it comes like 443 or something like that, megahertz, or something random. So when I was playing around or playing along with some music, it feels like the music is out of tune, even though just the master tuning of the piano was off. So I'm not sure why this was in 440 or something like that. There's temperament, key, hammer action, there's all sorts of things there as well. So when you go to edit the piano tone tool, which is inside the piano designer, if you enter this button there, you can go into like lit. I fear how the piano lit, how much do you want it open, how much that sounds there, key off noise, hammer noise, duplex scale, full scale string resonance, key off resonance, cabinet resonance, soundboard type, damper noise, soft pedal, there's like all sorts of things you can actually tune to make this piano sound really, really nice. I like the European Grand more, and if you are familiar with obviously Roland sounds, then this is... This is like the nicest sounding piano there and just... Sounds very deep and beautiful. <laughs> Whatever you want to play there. Uh, 
And then you can go to, there's American Grand as well, that sounds slightly different. And to me, it sounds a little bit more like Yamaha pianos, if you've played with any of the Yamahas. It's a bit more like brilliant and not as rich and deep, but I prefer the European Grand. It's just like a mellow and a little bit of brilliance there, but that's nice. And then you can have it, um, there's like four versions of the pianos there. But then there's also something called Split Dual, where you can split the layers and then have something else behind there. For example, if you want to play piano and pad, do some uh, like worship music stuff or something like that, we can play something like that. You can hear like the... Roland actually has very nice pad sounds there as well, so you can have uh, strings there or something like that as well, if you want to have that. So you can easily like play around with this one and mix all the sounds together, have two different layers to play with. And um, I haven't figured out exactly how to adjust the volume of different layers because sometimes you'd like the pad to be a bit louder or quieter. I don't quite know how to do that. I'm sure there's a setting for that as well somewhere. If not, Roland, you should update this on the software to, you know, give that option here as well. Then there is the e-piano, which, um, which are very nice. Um, all sorts of electric piano sounds, so if you want to play around with these... There's even glove there as well, like... If you want to play around with that as well. Clav is quite nice, I wish there was more clav sounds because... And then um, this sound, which to me is just like, whatever you play just sounds like jazz, you can... You can just play absolute... Rubbish. Just sounds like jazz, anything. You've got strings. So that's where you've got all your pads and all the things, whatever you want to play around. Loads of them too. So another thing you can do with this piano is connect your phone with this piano. So you can go to the settings, go to Bluetooth settings and then pair your phone and then whatever you play from your phone, it actually comes, uh, you know, from the speakers, which is really, really cool. So as you can hear, I'm playing this right now through that and that's what you can hear there. So if you want to learn a song or something like that, connect your phone to it, play along, jam along, Super, super cool. And you can add another instrument there as well if you have bass or something like that. Um, pretty cool. Now here's the thing, there's some things that you should be looking out for when getting this piano. And then number one thing is the delivery. Uh, because I'm not sure when and how you're gonna get this piano for, but there might be some different de delivery options. You can choose one that 
the guys actually come and set it up for you, which is quite a bit more expensive or just go standard like free delivery um, and then just it comes with a courier or something like that. You've got two big massive boxes. And when I got my delivery, I had a little bit of a kind of um, gripe with the you know, the company I bought it from because they actually delivered a piano broken to me because the the lid, there was something happened with the lid inside the box. Maybe it was put into the box like that from the factory, but it was cracked on that side of the piano lid. And I didn't even notice it at first until I put it up and then I was like, wait a second, that's broken. But because I filmed the whole process just to make this video actually um, for you guys who want to get the perfect piano, I had proof that this was broken and came in the box broken. So if you have the delivery, like the cheapest delivery with couriers, I recommend you to do the same thing. Just film the whole unboxing and setting up process. So then you would have some proof that this piano was delivered broken because there is things that can be broken because it's got very fine polish and maybe there was something that the delivery guy cracked in or accidentally dropped something on top of the box it might have affected um, that but because I had that proof in the end I got it replaced and now you know it's a nice beautiful piano you do need two people for the setup like you can set up the legs first because the top part comes in one piece and then the legs you can Put together and they're like two pieces like two massive coffin size boxes like massive boxes come so the the top part you need a second person to help you lift it on there like it wasn't that heavy i was able to do it with my wife and it was completely fine but you do need someone to help you lift it in there because otherwise you can put it on top of the legs but you might scratch it because there's like a like a screw hole that needs to go like kind of between the things that holds this whole thing in place so just something to look out for when setting this piano up. But I do recommend you save some cash if you wanna get it cheaper and get the normal delivery. You can set it up yourself, no problem. Another thing to look out for is the headphones or bundles that you might get with the piano. Depending on your store, they might offer a bundle with this piano, like get a chair or something like that with this as well. I got a chair with this as well. That's um, quite a nice matching chair. You know, you've got a leathery top and then ebony kind of uh, bolished ebony uh, legs there which uh, matches this and you do need a chair actually for this piano as well you can use like some of your you know household chairs but it's it's not actually comfortable it's not meant to be used like that you might have handles or armrests in there that will be in the way it's best to get a piano chair as well it's not going to be that much more expensive and you kind of need it but don't get the headphones in the bundle because I thought, oh yeah, they're gonna actually give me a good set of headphones that are meant to be in the bundle. But the headphones I got are something called Panasonic RBHD225 stereo headphones. These are like the cheapest headphones you can pretty much get and like they're okay if you wanna let your kids play with it or something like that. But if you wanna enjoy the actual sound of this, you can get much better set of headphones for an extra $50, pounds, whatever, from Amazon or something like that. If you wanna get some good options, I'm gonna leave a few in the description below, between uh, $50 to $100, where you can actually enjoy the sound. These sound very, very cheap, and there's no depth to it, no bass to it, it just feels, they don't block up the sound. Anyway, just very, very cheap pants headphones that, I wouldn't actually buy and I think I wasted the money on getting the bundle the chair yeah that was fine you know the chair will be good but the headphones no good now when you're seeing the LX series from Roland you realize that there's three pianos in there there's uh, LX 705, 706 and 708 this is 706 which is like the middle version of this the 705 that's kind of a little bit smaller and costs a little bit less and then there's a 708 that's a little bit bigger and the actual lid comes open as well um, and then it obviously sounds a little bit bigger and a little bit louder the only thing that changes with these sizes or different models is the actual speaker and outside design the 708 is slightly bigger seat, uh, speaker slightly louder and then the 705 is slight, like, slightly smaller the reason i chose the middle version is because it still kind of looks uh, like a normal piano, you know, maybe upright piano is slightly bigger, something like that, but it still kind of looks 
like an acoustic upright piano. The 705 will have smaller speakers and if you want to save some cash you can go with that and by the way the polished ebony is the most expensive color for that so if you do want to save extra money you can go with like some of the other colors if you want it to look something else but I did want the piano to look uh, like kind of like a beautiful piece of piano furniture because when you think about grand pianos or something like that it always has this polished ebony look and that's what I wanted to go with. The 708 I think is for people who really just want to spend a little bit more extra and I think it's not really worth the extra cash for it because it this is loud enough here I, I don't really need it to go louder so I don't really know why you would need the 708. Now if you do want the best or something like that there's people for that they want that but if you're asking which one is the best bang for buck, I think the middle 706 is the best bang for buck because it's not quiet enough and it's not loud enough. Like right now, I'll turn the volume to maximum. So this is what you would hear from the actual, you know, from, from my speakers here right now. So it doesn't go that loud, but it kind of sounds what an upright piano this size would sound, which I'm quite happy with. So perhaps when you've got a bigger room, bigger hall, maybe you've got a bigger um, kind of house where you want the 708 to be, then maybe the 708 is a better option there as well. Now, if you want to make sure that you like the sound of and feel of this, obviously I really recommend you to try to find like a local piano store or instrument store and then find that piano the LX series Roland pianos and then try them out there is a cheaper version of Roland pianos that you can get as well but they sound nothing like this and look nothing like this they might have some lower speakers and there isn't that much like kind of engineering and design put into it to make it look and sound like an acoustic piano but then have a little bit of a modern look as well which I think this is just the best kind of combination of that. But just go around your local store and try different pianos and you'll see why this one is the best. Now the conclusion then. This piano for me ticks all the boxes that I'd want. It looks good. It looks like an acoustic piano, like a piece of furniture. It sounds amazing. You've got different sounds if you wanna play around with different sounds, like some songs, you know, you might want electric pianos or acoustic pianos. You can mix it with different sounds. It has the classic Roland really nice piano sound. Now, I've tried Yamaha and Casio and Roland, and in my opinion, Roland is the best. I do wish that Nord Stage would do um, pianos, this type of things, because I think Nord Stage has even more nicer, richer depth of some of the pianos. But actually, do you know what? It's like splitting the hair here. Some people like um, North Stage more. Some of them like the Roland ones more. Some people like Yamaha more. But if you go look at the same price point for like Yamaha or Casio or something like that, then you can easily see that this looks the nicest, sounds the nicest, and all the others just, why would I spend that much where I could get this Roland piano? I think this is just the best bang for buck in the piano world. I can put the headphones on and enjoy the piano in the end of the day when kids have gone to sleep, not worrying that I'm going to wake up the kids. If the kids want to play the piano, it's too loud for your house, you say, kids, put the headphones on, enjoy it. The kids can play around with different sounds there as well if you want. They can look, you know, all the bird sounds, animal sounds and feel like, and kind of get the feel of music and play the piano and get excited about a musical instrument and then play around long. So if you want to pick this up, Check out the links in the description below. Now, if you own already any of the Roland LX series pianos, I'd love to know your opinion in the comment section below. So I'll meet you down there. And if you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys for watching. Bye-bye.